today, Masha Slamovic calls for something different. I need a new style, I need new colors to paint with. Today, I experiment with brutalism. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill you. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes! Ring that bell! Ladies and gentlemen, it is I once again, Dmitry Polovinkin, and I am here with you watching this unsanctioned Soviet death match between Edith Surreal and the Russian dynamite, Masha Slamovich. Now, ladies and gentlemen, do not expect any form of code of conduct here. As I've said, this is a super libre, super fight, unsanctioned Soviet deathmatch. There is so much, so much bad blood between these two competitors. Throw your code of conduct out of the window because it, it, it has absolutely no place here. This fight, this unsanctioned Soviet deathmatch is brought to you by our sponsors, the Bob Culture Podcast. Check them out at Bob Culture Pod. So both competitors looking for a submission, looking for, for leg locks, looking for the, uh, the advantage here with submission maneuvers. Edith Surreal. What's that, a double leg grapevine Indian deathlock variant? Ah, oh, Masha going ah, straight for the hair. Edith Surreal ah, does not like that. Let me tell you a little bit more about the backstory. Why these two competitors absolutely despise, detest each other. Masha is hell-bent. Hell-bent on taking over Edith's position as the ace of Camp Leapfrog. A position she holds with pride. Now, Edith Surreal was previously undefeated at Camp Leapfrog. However, Masha Slamovich does hold a one-on-one -on -one victory over Edith. And wrestling fans, it does not end there. Now, if you saw Edith's art class seminar at the Worldwide Wrestling jo Dojo, you will know that Masha rudely interrupted it and basically disrupted the event. Pure hatred here. Let's see how much damage, how much brutality these competitors do to each other and a chair is in the ring. Could that be a sign of evil to come? Masha Slamovich not wasting any time. Getting to the extreme, getting to the hardcore. And a vicious chair. That wasn't even a chair shot. That was a chair throw right across the spine of Edith Surreal. An early attempt at a cover, but very lackadaisical. You will not get the job done that easily, Masha Slamovich. Another choke, leg lock, submission, surfboard type maneuver. But Masha Slamovich reaches the ropes. The hold needs to be broken. Oh, a thunderous kick. From a seated, from a kneeling position, thunderous kick to the head. Masha Slamovich has got that chair again. A very dangerous hit with that chair last time. What has she got in store for Edith Surreal this time around? Wedges it between the second and bottom turnbuckle. I don't like the looks of this. Oh, Edith blocks it. Edith blocks it. Armoring her. Head first into the steel chair. Masha is in trouble here. Masha, давай, не сдавайся, пожалуйста, не сдавайся. Okay, sorry fans, I don't know what happened there. Uh, not not sure what those sounds were that came out of my mouth. Okay, so what does Edith Surreal have in store now? She has got the advantage. Masha is lying motionless. No, there's a little bit of movement there. Hopefully, the Russian dynamite, dynamite is still in this one. Oh, she's struggling to get 
She's struggling to get back up to her feet. Oh no, she's she's been busted open. She's been busted open. Oh, a big shining with wizard running knee from Edith Surreal. Some stiff, heavy shots to the face and head. She's really trying to open up that wound. Marsha, давай, вставай, пожалуйста. Sorry again. Edith Surreal misses a backsplash in the corner. However, manages to kick Masha away and a thunderous bulldog. Masha Slamovich taking the brunt of that on the very top of her skull. Very dangerous for the neck as well. Very dangerous impact for the neck. Masha needs to rethink her game plan here. If she's going to get some leverage, if she's going to get the upper hand. Once again, thunderous forearm right to the jaw. But Masha answers back. Masha is still in this one. Только вперед и только победа! What, what am I even saying? What, what are these words coming out of my mouth? Вообще не знаю. Okay, this is a dangerous position. That looked like the half-cradle driver that Masha Slamovich calls the White Knight driver. Of course, a homage to the White Knights of St. Petersburg. That wonderful, wonderful time of year when it never gets dark, not even at night. Oh my god, a rolling Death Valley driver to the outside of the ring into the cold, cold snow. And look at the blood staining, staining the whiteness of the snow. It's a cliche to say the streets will be stained with blood, <laughs> but when the snow is this white, it's very realistic. Masha Slamovich kicks Edith Surreal right in the face. Опять! Еще раз! Давай, Маша! Не сдавайся! She's got the chair again. Stiff hit to the midsection. Edith Surreal folded up like an accordion. Masha Slamovich, what does she have planned here? So many stiff forearm shots, elbow shots to the jaw of Masha Slamovich. They've got the, they must take their toll. How many of those can a, can, a, can a competitor take every time? What's that? Oh, can. Can to the head. Not just to the head, but to the open, bleeding, lacerated wound of Masha Slamovich. <laughs> oh, she tells Edith Surreal that Edith is number one. You are not going to take the fight out of Masha Slamovich. Oh, that might do it though. That might do it. Throws her unceremoniously into that steel chair. Edith Surreal very much with the upper hand. One can only imagine what factor the, 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 the cold snow plays in an event like this. I mean, they're not wearing warm winter coats. They're not wearing woolly hats. She got it! She got it in the snow, the white knight driver. The half cradle pile driver. Capitalize. Please, Masha, давай. Это твой, это твой шанс, твоя возможность. Ты можешь победить. Oh, who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? Come on, Masha. Come on, Masha Slamovich. My countrywoman. I mean, it's not like I was born in Voronezh, Russia or anything. It's not, it's not, it's not like I, I live there now. It's not like both my parents are Russian. <laughs> Давай, Маша, за Россию, за вас, за нас, за нефть и газ, за Москву! Да, 
hope I hope you're I hope you're all enjoying my completely unbiased commentary. <laughs> Come on, Masha Slamovich. She's laying Edith Surreal across that makeshift table, I believe, made out of a door. And she's pointing to the roof. Oh no. Will we see a wrestling version of the Aeroflot airline? That is, of course, the uh, Russian national airline. Edith's not moving. I mean, Masha Slamovich is taking her time, looking for a way to, I'm guessing, get up onto that roof. Edith Surreal is out for the cat. Oh, and that oh, she's so high up in the air. This is actually scary to watch. Asterojna, Masha, Asterojna. Там же скользко. Береги себя. The world is mine, mere mine. No fear, no fear in this woman. I mean, what, what kind of mental condition does one need to climb up to a height of? Of, of that, of what we're seeing now. Oh my God, the, the snow is slippery, making uh, the grip, making making the stability very difficult for Masha Slamovich, but oh, a huge splash through the table. I can only imagine what the insides of Edith Surreal feel like right now. Modern art and surrealism a long way away from her thoughts. Who knows, maybe before this match, she was thinking about maybe eventually winning the Turner Prize, getting her work displayed in the Tate Modern Gallery. But uh, heh, after a shot like that, all she's thinking about is pain. Pain caused by the Russian dynamite, Ruski Dynamit, Masha Slamovich. And a little bit of a receipt for what Edith Surreal did earlier in the match with that, I, I believe it, it was it was it was a soda can. Difficult to see from my vantage point. <laughs> After a huge rooftop splash like that, I think Masha Slamovich, Slamovich has got this one in the bag. She needs to capitalize on the damage she has caused. Rolling Edith Surreal back into the ring now. What has she got planned? Perhaps another white knight driver. It's over. Ladies and gentlemen, it's over. Конец. Победа. Раз, два, три. One, two, two. No way. No way. No way. Я просто не верю. Я просто не верю, что я только что видел. Nobody has ever kicked out of the white knight driver. I'm not exaggerating. Literally no one has ever kicked out of that move. Edith Surreal. You cannot deny the tenacity, you cannot deny the fight that is in her heart. But I don't know how 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 good that'll be, how, how if it'll be enough, because Masha Slamovich, no quit in the Russian Dynamite. But no quit in Edith Surreal either. She's hanging on. She's doing as much as she can. Ooh! Beautiful double arm cross, crisscross DDT. An evil maneuver, taking away any protection that Edith Surreal can use with her hands. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that move was actually called the melon baller. And usually Edith Surreal is the one who likes to utilize it. A stomp to the head by Masha Slamovich. It's time for this to fucking end. Masha Slamovich in there. A nice drink of uh, hydrating water there. I think not. 
I mean, if you wondered where she gets the fire and the energy to do such crazy manoeuvres, let's just say that uh, uh, she's got a little bit of help in that bottle. Oh, she's got the chair again, and she jams it right in the, into the lower ribs of Edith Surreal. Edith is, is in some serious pain here. Serious pain. She needs a second wind, third wind, fourth wind, whatever. I, I mean... She, she's not going to get given much time to recover. She needs to use the time she has because look at what Masha Slamovich has found under the ring and one can only imagine what else she is planning after everything we've seen. <coughs> after the dive off a rooftop. After the, after the sickening chair jabs into the, into the stomach, into the midsection, under the ribs. Masha Sam Samovich sadistic in her approach to the pain that she causes. But either Edith Surreal is still fighting back. Any opportunity to get the advantage, Edith will use it. She's favouring that arm. She's really having trouble with that arm here. Masha Slamovich grabbing Edith by the hair. Power bomb. She didn't get all of it. Didn't get all of it. Perhaps a reversal. A stiff European uppercut there. Takes Masha Slamovich to the ground. Oh, and a running drop kick to the back of the head. That was a beauty. Great elevation. And another shining wizard. Thrusting knee right to the jaw. It may be surprising to some that Masha Slamovich has not been knocked out yet after so many strikes to the jaw. But it's no surprise to me because Anna Ruskaya, Anna Sinaya! The power bomb attempt does not work that time. I mean, Edith, Edith Surreal has got to be fatigued at this moment, at this point in the match. Both competitors have gone through so much. The pain is real and it is detrimental to optimum performance. But it is not detrimental to the desire and the passion and the want and the need of a victory for both of these competitors. Ladies and gentlemen, from my point of view, this has been quite an experience for me personally because this is not a wrestling match. You can't call it a wrestling match. This is, this is a fight full of hatred, full of content for each other. Sadistic intent, if you will. Okay, powerbomb attempt, I believe. What is... Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my stars and garters, what did we just witness? Masha Slam Slamovich was Slamoviched out of the ring through that table. Where did Edith Surreal find the strength to not only muscle up Masha, but to just lob her, chuck her such a distance? That was impressive. I am impressed. Is it enough to put Masha Slamovich away? Hang on, what was that? Did she just spit in her eye? Oh my god, it was the mist! The mist! The mist! The green mist! So subtle, barely noticeable, but it did the damage. Ladies and gentlemen, Masha Slamovich <laughs> from Russia with love. Uh, he's like, yeah, that's what you get. That's what you get for messing with this fierce Russian warrior. Только вперед и только вперед, только победа для Маша Сламович. Давай, Маша, самая сильная, самая жестокая, непобедимая. 
Я верю в тебя. Вся Россия верит. Вся Россия ждет твою победу. Еще раз! Еще раз! And another table? Another table? Well, the last time we saw a table come into play in this match, it, it did not go into Masha Slamovich's favor. But she's up an atom once again. Ah, oh, again using using that that solid steel edge of the chair, picking apart specific body parts of Edith Surreal. Until I see it. Ты можешь, Маша, ты победишь, давай. Hang on, is she go is she she's gonna try again? Remember what happened last time. I'm sure she's I'm sure Masha is still feeling the effect of that power bomb to the outside of the ring. I mean, one must debate. Is is this an intelligent option? Oh, simply standing on her head and neck. Edith Surreal, insulted as well as injured. Oxygen is optional. I don't know what else to expect here. I mean, White Knight Driver, White Knight Driver, through the table! White Knight Driver through the table. Masha and Edith, have been through hell and back. And Masha, Masha's laughing, the psychotic laugh of Masha. You can see the remnants of the green mist. Of course, a maneuver that she brought back with her after a year in Japan. One of the first and only Gaijin competitors that was taught that maneuver and can use it effectively. It's unbelievable, sorry, I'm, sometimes I'm lost for words. Lost for words in any language, to tell you the truth. I mean, just, just, oh my God! The mist for me, it's surreal! No, 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 no! Yes! The magenta mist, if you will. Because as we all know, Edith's blood is magenta. A representation of her artistic insides, if you will. From Russia with love no more because Edith Surreal uses that stop sign to her advantage. There's a chair in the ring. Well, hang on a minute. The half cradle pile driver, the white knight driver. Нет, нет, не так, не так, не так. Oh, Masha, нет. О, Маша проиграла, я не, мам, не могу поверить. Это же ее коронный прием. Нечестно, не верю в это. Of course, completely unbiased. Well done to Edith Surreal. Defeating, unbelievably defeating Masha Slamovich with her own finishing maneuver, the White Knight Driver. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed this completely unbiased commentary from me, Dmitry Polovinkin. Well, if you really think about it, the clue's in the name, isn't it? Edith deserve it, deserved it, deserving of the victory. I have not said that yet. Маша все равно тебя любим. Вся Россия. Вся Россия тебя любит.